This is a very special fact, Sabbath. Uh, when I first came here, Connor was attending Cradle Roll. And it's been so much fun to watch this young man grow up. He's always been inquisitive and full of life. Um, I don't know if I'm the only one that remembers he and Emily singing, Anything You Can Do, I Can Do Better. <laughs> it's so much fun. And as I've watched Connor go on a spiritual journey, he's very honest, very honest-hearted young man. And Connor will tell you exactly how he's doing and exactly what's going on. And um, he has a, um, God has put a, a spiritual compass in his heart. And he just keeps turning back towards Jesus. And isn't that what the spiritual journey is like? We just keep turning back towards Jesus. Uh, I've greatly enjoyed <coughs> studying with him and watching him grow. And I've asked him to prepare uh, a couple of words about what this step means to him. Uh, thank you all for coming this morning. It means so much. Um, to me, getting baptized means that I am no longer living for myself. I have died to myself and I'm letting God be in control of my life. The reason why I wanted to get baptized is because I struggle so much with wanting to be in control of my life. I, will always, I always want to do things my way, even if I know that they're wrong. And I know that I'll always be like this, but I want to let God make the choices in my life. I hope that being up here, I hope that being up here, people will realize that even if they've screwed up like me, they can still come to God who will always love them no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. After Connor takes this step, the symbolism of dying with Christ, being raised with Christ. Is the enemy going to stop trying to discourage him? And so I'd like to ask for your prayers for this young man as he continues to grow in his, spirit, in his spiritual life and your encouragement for him as we surround him as a church family and as we support him as he uses his life to bring glory to God. Bible teachers of the academy, uh, Mrs. Woody or Mr. Carlson, 
and we'd be happy to talk to you. And I would encourage you to keep praying for Connor. After the service today, he'll be standing out there by the round table, and you can come by and welcome him as your brother in Christ.